Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today we're going to make this card which features some beautiful um, copper embossing powder which is new in the uh, Stampin' Up! catalogue that came out in June. So I thought I would make a little something. Now we're going to use the Flamingo stamp from Pop of Paradise. Are you seeing loads of flamingos um, and pineapples everywhere? They are the kind of trendy thing um, this summer. And I'm just telling people it's the, the only time I've been trendy since the 1980s. So <laughs> you've got to make the most of it. So I'm going to start off um, with, with these other stamps that I'm using today, which is Painter's Palette. And I'm going to use this swoosh sign. But so I get a paler effect from the Flirty Flamingo ink. I'm just stamping off. And so I've got three little swooshes going on there. And of course you have to use flirty flamingo when you're stamping a flamingo, don't you? It's kind of it's kind of the law. So I'm gonna put my flamingo in just there. I'm gonna reach for a black marker because I think that a flamingo's beak should be black. Am I right? I hope I am. But I think he looks a lot better with a black beak. Yes, I think so. So just put that in with the marker. Um, and then we're going to put a greeting in. And the greeting I'm going to use, um, again, is from Painter's Palette, and I'm going to use this one. Our friendship is a work of art. And I am going to pop that down in the corner. I'm stamping that with a black memento ink. And then the thing that really makes this card come to life, um, I'm using again little pops um, of um, copper used from that uh, painter's palette set. So where is my, oh, there it is, my embossing buddy. So embossing buddy over the card stops the Versamark ink and the powder in particular sticking where we don't want it to. So the only thing I'm going to be careful of here is not to get the copper on the head of the flamingo there because that won't work. So a few little stamps of the clear Versamark. And I'll bring in my copper embossing powder, which really just looks brown when it's in the <laughs> in the pot. Put it on, tap it over there. And give it a good tap. Put that to one side. And then I'm going to bring in my heat gun. Sorry about the noise. And just hold your heat gun still until you start to see the colour change and go copper. There we go. Can you see the way the light's glinting off that? It just is beautiful. I'm just going to reach for some Tombow glue. Put a little of that on the back. My layers, by the way, just to tell you, uh, were three and a quarter by five and a quarter inches for the white and four by five and a half for the black. And then I've got a, an A6 card. It's half a piece of A4. Um, but if you're not using the metric system for your cardstock, then just go with some layers that work for you. Really simple and very quick, but I think a very effective card and very trendy. Thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today. I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love.